wear shorts. It's windy a, a bit today, so I don't know whether this is going to come out. Don't know how good the GoPro uh, sound is. But I'm going to talk about coppice stool recession and a little bit more about deer damage. Right, if we look in this patch of woodland here, this is derelict hazel. So this is hazel, which is long out of rotation. You might hear on various places on the internet people talking about overstood hazel. That is hazel which is not long out of rotation. In rotation hazel is hazel which is being cut, or could potentially be cut, to economic advantage, however small, at the end of say a seven year cycle. And this here you can probably just about see, is a big ash on a boundary bank to the wood. Do another little clip on woodland ground features. If we look here, this is the boundary to the uh, farmed field, the grazed field, and we've got deer here in the first, second and the third of these three strands of barbed wire. And this here is a deer run that goes up through the, the wood into that area up there. Go through here, past the dead hedge, into this area here. Have a quick look, you can see one year's regrowth. I did this last April, that's a slightly short one year. And we'll demonstrate on this stool the long term effects of coppicing time after time after time. If we look in the middle of this, we will see that there are more healthy shoots from the outside than from the inside because the stool shades itself and the stems on the inside get shaded out and they die like this one so he's dead he's dead he's small he's dead he's dead this one's doing okay for the time being we're going straight up for the middle he might make it that one's dead that one's dead so what's happened here the shoots have gone better from the outside of the stool. This was cut one year ago and is approximately seven feet high. And you can see over time the stool gets bigger and bigger and spreads out. If we walk up through the wood, another similar stool here. This one's a hawthorn. Another stool. You get towards the area that I haven't cut yet. Just done this one, and there was a lot of dead stems on this stool. If we clear him off, see this stem's dead. This one's live. You can see the difference. Dead, mostly dead, but this bit here was alive. Dead, live, live, dead, dead. So what's happening here is, this is uh, southwest-ish. So east is over, not sure entirely, but anyway, the sun comes through the day around this area here. Cast shade in this direction approximately. So this stool was under the shade of this big dominant stool here and it got smaller. Ditto for this one here. We're now going uphill onto a boundary bank. Hold the camera level and you can see there's a sharp slope here. Small stool is putting out a lot of sun shoots. That's what we call these. These are indications of a stool that's a bit under stress, although hazel, being a profuse coppicing species, does this quite a lot anyway. That one's dead. 
that one's dead. Both of these big stems are still alive, but you can see that's a relatively small stool. This is another dominant stool, but this one's got a dead stem here, and some of these sun shoots are dead. This is what happens when the coppice is neglected and not cut. This hasn't been cut for 60 odd years or so. And if you look at this one here, you can see what might well have been a big stool that was cut, however many years ago it was cut, a long time. Regrew from the outside and then this side probably because it's on the shaded side, died off. So all these here are all attached to each other. So this, I would suggest, is one stool, one coppice stump in inverted commas. It's been cut and recut every seven years for a long, long time. This is an ancient woodland, so it has been woodland continuously, not grubbed up or ploughed since 1600 or before and if we look to our right we can see another line of coppice all hazel so the question then becomes is all this one stool if it is this is very old indeed certainly older than these standards these oaks which are maybe two, three hundred years. And this I'm convinced is how hazel spread within woodlands. Instead of being planted in, as is fashion these days, it would have been layered, like that stem in the background, and I think I've put up a video about layering, or just cut, and every time you cut, it grows. You've got to cut wood to get wood. If we move the camera back, we can't zoom, there is no zoom on a GoPro. We have another stool here. Is this a small stool that's cycling down or is this part of this big one? Don't know, can't prove it. We'd have to find out if the genetics of these, these and these were identical. You can see through here, that one with a scrape up the side is a hawthorn. But all these other stools here, hazel, are dying off, getting smaller as time goes on. The dead one here, I think he died. There's a dead stem there, off a dead stool. And this one here is a dead one. So to keep your coppice healthy long term, you've got to cut it. Which is a bit counterintuitive. But nevertheless, that is indubitably true. So that's coppice stool recession. And also the effects of long term coppicing. What I'm going to hope is going to happen here, if someone comes along in seven years, and recuts all this, so we'll get the opposite recession. We'll get coppice stool expansion again. The individual stools will get bigger and they'll spread, and the spacing in here will get better. That stem there, that stem there, these stems over here, that stem there, have all been left, and I will layer those into these gaps to try and help that along. Thank you very much. Hope that was interesting.